Hey y'all, it is August the 2nd, 2019, and y'all, I'm going to play a quick um, little clip for y'all, it's about two minutes long, it's off of WPLG, that's the local news out of South Florida, or in the Miami-Dade area, in and around there. I got another story, and I wanted to share this one specifically with y'all, in particular, all right, because we deal, uh, we deal with this from time to time. And um, it's actually a reoccurring event, all right? It is not rare, okay? All right, so I'm about to play this clip for you, and um, then we're going to talk about it on the other side, all right? This is a young person who just got killed, and the news is going to talk about it. Tonight, the search is on for a shooter after a young woman was gunned down in southwest Miami-Dade. And her mother speaking exclusively to Local 10 today, fearing that her loved one may have been targeted. Local 10 News reporter Kristen Delarosa live down with the family's emotional plea tonight. Kristen. We spoke with the victim's mother shortly after she was with police identifying the body of this transgender woman who was shot multiple times. My baby ain't hurt nobody, my baby. My baby, y'all please help bring justice to my baby. <laughs> Loved ones say Marquise Fentroy was a 21-year-old transgender woman. Wednesday, just before 5 a.m., she was gunned down along Southwest 224th Street and 115th Court in Southwest Miami-Dade. My baby, my baby, my baby go, my baby go. You know, a lot of people does not like the gay community. They just put up with it or pretend like they do. But deep down inside, they really hate us. Family members called her Kiki. Fun and comfortable in her own skin, her mother fears she was targeted because of her gender identity. Everyone have the right to feel and to be who they are and be the best who they are without being bullied, without being intimidated, without being gunned down. Whoever did it, we are a forgiving family. We forgive you what you have done, but you're going to have to pay the consequence. At last check, police have not made an arrest. They don't even have a suspect description. They need the public's help. Any information, you can get them to help this family get some justice. 305-471-TIPS is the number to Crime Stoppers for you to call. We're live in Southwest Miami Day tonight. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. So awesome. All right, y'all. Uh, okay, stop right there. That's uh, WPLG, and that was uh, Christian De La Rosa, whatever, bringing us the news. And everybody else... Uh, everybody involved, to include the reporters, to include the anchors, to include the family members, and especially the family members, they should all be terribly ashamed of themselves, right? But however, they don't feel any shame, right? They're, they can't wait to get in front of a camera and act a damn fool, which is what they did. The thing is, what I got to point out is, like I said before, this is a reoccurring situation. This isn't... Uh, brand new. It's like, okay, these people are going to describe this situation as senseless, a senseless killing in which, you know, probably these people are hating on transgenders, all right? As they do every single time when I see it, every single time it pops up. Like I said, it's not exactly rare, all right, they say, oh, man, these people must have been hating on transgenders and stuff. And so they hunted down my baby and killed my baby. All right, missing the whole complete point of it. Here's the thing. I don't endorse violence. I don't recommend violence for anybody to do. Like, that's not the answer to anybody's problems out there. But what I'm doing right now is telling you the news if you never heard it before because the news won't bring you the news and they won't get at the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter is, guess what? It was not a person hunting down transgenders at five in the morning just because people like to wake up early and hunt down transgenders. All right? This senseless hate crime stuff that y'all are talking about, no, that was not what happened. 
And in fact, this happens over and over and over and over and over again. Why do you think this person got shot down at 5 a.m.? Why was this person walking the streets at 5 a.m., right? I'm here, I'm here to break it down for y'all in case if you haven't figured it out, okay? This transgender, unfortunately, uh, I wouldn't recommend this, but what this transgender did was, I don't know, hit up the club, hit up a bar where people are getting inebriated, right? This transgender met a stranger or something like that, convinced the stranger to come somewhere and have some sort of relations. I know I don't know the details, all right? But you can imagine, has some sort of relations that person then finds out in some other kind of way, oh, I, this isn't a girl, right? No matter how much the news wants to say, oh, this is a young lady and blah, blah, blah. No, it was not, all right? Unfortunately, had male genitalia. What happened is the person, the guy who thought he was hanging out with a lady, he got sorely disappointed. And like I said, I don't endorse violence. I'm not saying that, oh, he should go out and be violent. What his immediate reaction was, was to kill this person. And like I said, it happens over and over and over again. And if you're not even gonna address the situation, it's just gonna happen over and over and over and over again. What you should be doing on the news is saying, hey, y'all transgenders out there, this needs to be the first thing that you say to a person, all right? There should be no tomfoolery in this particular situation because you're probably gonna get gunned down at 5 a.m., all right? And probably we're gonna go on the news and we're gonna have your mom cry about it. Of course, we're not gonna have your father because your father's long gone, all right? That's a situation we're not gonna touch with a 10-foot pole. And then we're gonna say you're a beautiful young lady and we have no idea why you got shot down in the streets just like the people right before you got shot down in the streets. And it happens over and over and over again. We're not even going to bring it up because, oh, we care about your feelings, but we're not going to save your life. We're not going to give you some advice that might save your damn life, all right? <laughs> we're just going to be BS around and say you're, you're a beautiful young lady and people are hating on you and we don't know why it was a senseless killing. And next week we're going to say the same damn thing when somebody else gets gunned down, all right? So anyways... Thought, thought I would cover that. We're just going to cover it again and again and again and again and again. And it's going to keep happening because, I, you know, it's only me who's going to say what's really happening, right? Or some people out on the internet. I appreciate everybody out there hollering the truth and stuff, trying to save lives. Of course, WPLG is not even talking about it, right? Uh, holler at me in the comments section. I might be dead wrong and stuff like that. So holler at me in the comments section. It's August the 2nd, 2019.